It's been a while. Let's catch up. Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna do a mid-year homeschool reflection. And it's probably about time that I came on here. If you are one of my subscribers, I mean, you may not even notice I was gone. It's not like I'm huge in the YouTube world. But um, I did make a video in December. That was the last time that I posted. It was to let you know what I was doing at Christmas. And then I just made an announcement that I wanted to take a break. And so I did. Um, if you don't know, like YouTube is just a hobby for me. Like I just do it for a little bit of fun to share some things, to share our experience. Like I'm not here trying to make money. I'm not here trying to be some influencer or anything like that. Um, I'm just here for the fun of it. And it is fun, but I needed just a little bit of a break and I really wanted our December to just be laid back. I didn't want to have to worry about creating a video and posting a video because we had a trip and we had Christmas and I just really want to take a break. And so that's what I did. I was like, I'm just going to take a break in December. I'll be back. And then I wasn't back. And so if you didn't notice, that's fine, but I wasn't back and I kind of missed it, but then I kind of didn't. Um, and so I'll kind of explain what we've been doing. So um, for December, we did the Caroling Noel unit from Campfire Curriculums. It was fabulous. If you are uh, already thinking about Christmas next year, which I know some people do, um, that unit was awesome. It was focused on the music of Christmas, the, um, the carols, and the history behind them, and it was beautiful. So put that on your list for a next Christmas if you're looking for something like that. So we did that. The math was built into that through their core connections. Now, they don't have math in all their core connections, but it was in the Christmas one. And so um, that's what we did for December, and it was great. So we went through the lessons. We wanted to get it finished before our trip to the mountains, and we did, and it was wonderful. So then we went to the mountains. My son went to um, an anime convention there with my husband, and then my mom, sister, and niece went with us. We stayed in the cabin at the KOA, and we just had a wonderful time. We ate lots of good food. We did lots of fun things, saw beautiful Christmas lights, all that wonderful stuff. Well, when we got back, um, about that Thursday after we got back on Monday, my husband and my son got sick, and by Sunday, I was like, you've got to go to urgent care. Like, let's find out what's wrong with you. Let's see if you need some medication because I thought my son had strep. And so they went to urgent care. They tested negative for absolutely everything. Um, but they still gave my son an antibiotic because he did have like the white um, bumps in the back of his throat just in case he did have strep. So they gave him medicine. And at this point, I was feeling okay. But then later that week, uh, I think it was like Wednesday after they went on Sunday, I completely crashed. Like, I felt horrible. Uh, my son wasn't feeling any better. I started feeling really bad. Uh, and I just laid on the couch. And it was days upon days upon days of just not feeling well. Running fever, achy body, all that kind of stuff. And that took us into the, that was like the week before Christmas. And so I just laid around, I felt horrible, and I was like, the flu's going around, that's probably what's wrong with this. Um, but uh, I hate going to the doctor. I don't have anything against doctors, I just hate going. They make my blood pressure go up, and I hate it. And the only reason I'll ever go to the doctor is if I think I have strep and I need medication for it. Otherwise, I'm gonna stay away. So I thought, you know what, they're not gonna give me anything for the flu. If that's what I have, I'm not going to the doctor. So for that week, right before Christmas, I was so sick. My son and I were both so sick. Um, and then like two days before Christmas, my mom got sick. So we all felt terrible. She ended up going to the doctor because she her cough was really bad. I had a really bad cough too. And she went and she tested positive for the flu. So I was pretty sure that's what we all had. Well, we uh, missed our annual shopping trip that we always go on with my sister, which is fine. And we felt a little bit better, not 100%, but a little bit better on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then after that, it was like a crash. Christmas night, I was down for the count. And for really the rest of that week, felt awful. By that point, my son was feeling a little bit better. I felt horrible. Um, I could feel it in my chest. I was extremely tired. I slept nonstop, fever off and on. I would think I was getting better and then I would crash again. It was terrible. And so this is the 18th, right? That you're seeing this. 
And just last week was the first time I actually felt better, um, which is crazy because it just lingered and lingered. I could not get rid of that cough. I did end up getting some cough medicine. I could not get rid of it. And I could barely like do a brisk walk with my dog without having like some major coughing fit. So I couldn't talk for a lot. I couldn't sing. None of that would work. I would have a major coughing fit. And finally, I was, I know this is silly to pray for, so don't come at me. But I take line dancing. I don't like go to like bars and stuff and line dance. It's a, a local class offered here in our town and it's so much fun. And so it was about to start up and I was like, God, please let me feel better so I can go to my line dancing class. Cause I was like, if I can't even walk or sing or talk, I'm not going to be able to line dance. And it really, it really just got better. Um, but it, I was taking medicine and all that kind of stuff. And so that got better, but still I could not hear out of this ear. Like it stopped up. It's like when you get water in your ear, like when you go swimming, I've tried everything to unstop it. And so if you know any remedies for unstopping an ear, let me know because I still can't hear out of this ear very good. So enough with the sickness. We're feeling better. I got to go to line dancing. Let's move on. So, what have we been doing since January started? Well, we have actually been going through the zoologist unit from Campfire. If you have children that love animals, are interested in an animal career, this has been great. We are, um, as of today, we have done through lesson, I think we're on lesson eight, and we've learned so much about elephants and primates and cool lizards that look like Spider-Man and just really interesting stuff. We've learned a lot of great vocabulary that we didn't know before and we've just learned a lot. So this is a, a heavy science unit. The core connections are history and language arts and the language arts is great. If you are new to the idea of note taking or how to notebook, their language arts for this unit is all about how to be a good note taker. I have a flip through of this unit. I'll link it down below so you can check it out. Um, that's what we're working on right now. We are also reading A Long Walk to Water. Um, I will say we read The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street during December, and we loved it. If you haven't read that yet, it was a good story. We're reading A Long Walk to Water right now, and, and those are completely different stories. But this has been very eye-opening, following the story of these two characters. We've enjoyed it so far. Um, and this little print off I have here is just from education.com. I know you can get so many free prints like a month or whatever or something. I don't remember how long it is. But these are just questions, comprehension questions, analysis questions, and personal questions um, divided up by chapters like this is chapter 9 to 12. And I've been using this to help us discuss the book because sometimes... Um, my son will just kind of like, he'll be looking out the window and he'll be thinking about something he wants to do with his friends later or a video game he wants to play and he has no idea what's been happening in the story. So I have used this to make sure that he is comprehending and following along with the story. So that has been great. So that's what we've been up to. Now, um, as far as math goes, you know, we did the math in the unit for December, but we use Learn Math Fast and that's been going great. Um, we've been kind of like speeding through it until we hit pre-algebra and that kind of rocked his world because that was new and um, it has taken us a minute. We have learned to slow down, not trying to do a lesson a day, but really taking our time to make sure he has it. So if it's a lesson for three days or if it's the same lesson for two days or if we have to repeat the same lessons, then next week, whatever it takes, that's what we do and that has worked out. So, um, he's getting it. You can see that it's clicking and he's getting it. So, um, that's worked out really well. And it's been eye opening for me because it has been quite a while since I've done algebra. I taught kindergarten. So we, we didn't do that. And so, um, it's been a while since I've done any kind of algebra, but we, um, one thing that we do is we try to race and see who can finish the solving the equation first. And that's been fun and um, it, it's going okay. So it's not great, but it's going okay. I mean, it's hard for him, but he's getting it. Um, and so here, here we are. Um, he is about to go on a trip with my husband. They're going um, to Texas at the end of January. And right before he goes to Texas, we'll be finished with this unit. And so I was like, what are we gonna do next? So I had a plan, like a rough plan at the beginning of the year of a couple of gather round units I wanted us to do. But um, 
one thing to know about me is once I get one year plan, I'm already thinking about the next year. And so I've been thinking about the next year for, you know, since August. Um, next year, he'll be a ninth grader. And so it's high school and I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And so a lot of the things that I had planned for this year, I had some continents and I had a history unit. I totally scrapped that for right now because I want to use the Gather Around Continent Studies for a geography credit, and I want to use the U.S. History Studies for a U.S. History credit, and so I've kind of scrapped all of that, and it's left me with like, what are we going to do now? We've got to fill his eighth grade year with some good material, but what are we going to do? So, we do have some options. Um, we haven't finished careers and trades. We could always do that. We haven't done living off the land. Uh, and then we have new ones that we got in. Um, these were mailed to me. I purchased them like year three print. And so, we have the National Parks of North America and we have the sports and PE. So, I kind of want to save this for high school, pair it with some health and his karate to give him like a health and PE credit. So, this may not be an option, um, but I thought maybe this. This is beautiful. Um, if you want me to do a flip through of it, I will. I haven't done a flip through in a long time. So, let me know. I could show you a little bit of it and a little bit of the student notebook. I think this would pair perfectly if you are doing a 50 state study or something or North America. This would be wonderful. So, um, I can do a flip through if you want me to of either one of those. If you're interested, just let me know um, in the comments. And then I know Campfire just came out with like a car maintenance um, unit, but I really want that to be an elective for high school. So I'm just like at this uh, standstill of, I don't know what we're gonna do. So you can just stay tuned and kind of follow our journey with us because I really don't know what's coming next. Of course, we'll continue with Learn My Fast, but I don't know what's next. So um, I will say I am thinking about high school. He has told me he wants to do chemistry, which I'm like, oh, kill me now, because that was my that was my downfall. Um, I am a perfectionist. If things do not come easily to me, I am ready to give up. Like that's honest to God truth. And chemistry about killed me in high school. Like to the point I begged to be homeschooled, and my mother's like, no. You're not doing that. And so, um, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. And so, when he told me that, I was like, that's awful. But we do have the Gather Around Chemistry unit. But it's just, it's a, it's a unit. It's only 20 lessons. And I know you can, like, add reading to it and add this and add that. But here's the thing. My son doesn't like to read just a ton of books. And so I need some chemistry things that I can add to it to make it, you know, full credit, to give us the hours we need or to stretch it out for a whole year. I need some help. So if you know of some good chemistry that isn't like tons of reading, which I've looked at Guest Hollow, but it looks like there's a lot of books and I just don't know about that. I want to try it, but I just don't know about it. Um, but I do like the idea of it. I know Gather Round has an experiment book that goes with it. I do need to purchase that. Uh, I don't know. So if you have any ideas for chemistry that will help me understand it so that I can teach it to him, um, that would be great. I do not want to outsource it. Number one, he, he doesn't want to sit through a video. Uh, he just wants it quick to the point, tell me about it, let me do a worksheet and let me move on. And I'm okay with that. And so uh, I really don't want to outsource that and spend a lot of money for him to watch videos and not really care. So. Any ideas, if you can meet all those criteria, let me know. So, that is kind of our update. Let me know what you want to see because I honestly am not sure if I even want to keep making videos. Um, while I had this laid down for the month of December and a little bit through January, I honestly was just like, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. Like, I'm not trying to make this a career. I know that when my son graduates from high school, I'm going to go back to work. I'm a public school teacher and I will go back and I will teach in the public school system. And so I know I'm not going to be doing this forever. And I was like, you know, is it time? Is it time that I stop this? And so I don't know. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. I have canceled my Canva premium subscription. I canceled Epidemic Sound because I was just like, if I'm not going to be making videos, I don't want to waste money. But then I kind of want to do some videos. Like I wanted to participate in this collaboration. And, um, I wanted to, um, 
you know, show you these other new units. So just let me know. And now that I just said this was a collaboration, I think I did not mention it. And so I do need to mention that this video is a part of a collaboration hosted by Davine at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna over at Homegrown Homeschool. I'm so sorry that I didn't mention that when we first started. Make sure you check out their channels as well as the playlist that I'm going to link down in the description box. If you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, not Day in the Life videos because my son hates being on the camera now and I'm not going to make him do that, um, but any other suggestions, any flip throughs, anything, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.